7:21 p.m. here in Seoul, South Korea. It's time for Kim Young Dae's Back to the Culture, and in the studio once again, Young Dae. Hello, Tio. Speaking of Kumi, <laughs> really? I I have zero connection. To I have zero connection too. But speaking of startups, uh, I mean, I'm not going to be doing any startups or anything like that. I'm not sure if you're going to be doing any startups. You know what I have been thinking about is like starting up like a YouTube channel or starting up a podcast or something. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I can't think of these good ideas because there's so many good ideas uh, that's already out there. So that's my that's my uh, little uh, I guess uh, thing that I've been t thinking about before I go to sleep. Well, uh, at least I have uh, just a little little bit of memory. Uh huh. Regarding Kumi, the city of Kumi, <laughs> when I was in the uh, army, okay. we um, we the people from Seoul, uh -huh. Seoulites, used to mock the people from uh, countryside. Mm. You know, talking about you know nonsense, talking mm. nonsense. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, where are you from? I'm from Kumi. Oh, is any anything? Is there anything in Kumi? Do you have food? <laughs> Do you have theater? You know, something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Which is why they changed. Remember um, when, but like, that's that's nonsense. Actually. Yeah, but yeah. remember when, like, for example, like the the car, <laughs> the license plates. Yeah. Back in the days, they used to have like Seoul, right. Seoul, right. yeah, Seoul, Na, Busan, Busan, and so they got rid of that because people started yeah. going like, "Oh, that car is from you know, yeah. blah blah blah." That car is. It, it became there was a big regional stuff. Right. 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 Uh, nevertheless, uh, TK Blessing says yes. SJ YouTube channel. I don't know what I was talking about. That's the thing. All right. What, what YouTube channel? I don't know. I you know I want to start a YouTube channel. Okay. Uh, but I don't know what to talk about on YouTube. You you can just talk about your um. Just every day you'd like. No one cares. Have, have you? Life. Have you? Okay, here's an interesting thing. Yeah. Have you ever? Do you know the director, David Lynch, the legendary yeah, yeah, director? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Mulholland Drive, mm -hmm. Twin Peaks. He keeps uploading a, a really interesting, you know, content. Not so interesting. He uploaded two different content every day. Weather forecast, mm -hmm. no weather report, and a today's number. Mm -hmm. So he just talked about okay. So February 25th, today's weather is shiny, a little bit of cloudy in California, something, something. That's it. That's it. Yeah, a minute on a uh, minute and a half or something. Then he just picks up randomly like a lottery. He just picks the today's number, and that's it. But he, <laughs> <laughs> but he he keeps doing it. That's the point. But that's because it's David Lynch. That's why. And but if yeah, exactly. I, but if I do but it, you're SJ. But they're gonna like, what, what is he doing? There's gonna be like zero followers. Uh, that's not our. Oh, speaking of uh, directors, uh, the reason why today's uh, topic is interesting, and I brought this topic. Right. Why? I had requested this topic for the longest time, but I hmm. thought it was proper because we had recently the Cannes Film Festival, mm -hmm. and uh, we had. Uh, my favorite uh, director of all time, Park Chan Wook, win the best director, and my favorite actor of all time, Song Kang Ho, uh, win uh, best uh, male actor. And uh, one of my favorite singers, one of my favorite, not my all time, IU, aka Lee Ji Eun, Lee Ji Eun. Uh, coming out in Broker. So I thought, you know, there was a lot of cases where actors and actresses turned or released singles or albums. And also, like, vice versa. I mean, there's a lot of singers who also act now. Mm -hmm. um, but I wanted to kind of also talk just mostly, like, on actors and actresses who released singles in the past. So that's our topic. Right. I brought this out. Well, well, this, in this, like, business, entertainment business today. Yeah. Um, well, there are still, like, a really, you know, the 100% singers, 100% actors, you know, crossing over the genre. But mostly, well, we are living in the generation that, you know, every entertainer is a multifaceted, multifaceted entertainer, mm -hmm. you know, essentially. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it, it's really not a long history. No, it's not. And also, uh, it's interesting that you mentioned that it's not long history because it, it's nowadays, I think celebrities are so much more talented than they were maybe like the they, older they generation. Have they yeah, have they to. have to, right? Because it's that much more competitive. They have so much different media. Well, for for instance, well, when 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 a certain agencies they will try to make a a a group, right? An idol group. They recruit not just singer, 
You know, it's a different mindset. They, they're just recruiting multifaceted entertainer, basically. Yeah, yeah. So that they can use them, you know, for different, like, uh, different contexts, different types of, you know, entertain, entertainment business. So they, they pick a, you know, handsome, talented, pretty members, mm -hmm. not, f not just for a, you know, the music business, but film business, drama business, or you know many different types of enter entertainment business at the same time it's the basic you know mindset it's really different from the past and now it's just just common practice yeah. in this business it's uh it's remarkable but it wasn't always like this so we want to kind of talk about some of these uh uh, artists, oh, so actors and actresses turned singers and vice versa. So I, I want to go to you first. Let's go really back, right? <laughs> like, like even in the States, um, to me, Lady Gaga was the big surprise, right? Okay. I mean, Lady Gaga, in my opinion, I think Lady Gaga has the best voice. She's the best female voice mm -hmm. uh, in all of the United States. And then I saw her act. And I said, oh my goodness, she can also act. Amazing that's, actress. That's incredible, Amazing right? Actress. And then you have, I, I, you know, controversial, but, you know, Will Smith, right? I, I grew up <laughs> grew up watching Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, uh, but he's also had a lot of uh, albums released. Not many well. people remember that he's an amazing rapper. Yeah, he From is. Philadelphia, and DJ all, Jazzy Jeff uh, and yeah, Fresh yeah. Prince. Fresh Prince, right? But the thing about his, like, uh, music was, it was rap music, but it was clean, it clean, clean music. healthy, yeah. <laughs> exactly. for everyone. So it, exactly the opposite of like NWA yeah, yeah. or some someone from uh, like Compton or LBC. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a good rap, you know, healthy rap for everyone. Yeah, that's like like the joke, right? They were saying that Will Smith used to uh, rap about listening to your parents and stuff like that, eating your but, vegetables. But he was good. He was good. No, he definitely was. Yeah. I, I really think, you know, despite all the criticism that he's uh, faced with that slap, I mean, he was a very talented actor and uh, artist. But here in Korea, who are some of the names that come up to you when you think about, like, actors and actresses that turned artist? The the first name that uh, popped up in my head uh, right now is Chon Young-no. Do you remember Chon Young-no? <sighs> You know, I have to see the face. He was one of the most famous idol, mm -hmm. you know, not idol singer, just just teen teen idol mm -hmm. in the eighties. He was the most sought after actor in the business in the eighties. Oh, he he he's a he's a type of um, the entertainer that just just paved the way for this multifaceted multi entertainer. He's a wonderful, you know, incredible singer songwriter. He's an amazing singer, but at the same time, he's he's so talented actor. You know, in movie, in TV drama, he's just yeah, he's a he's a kind of like a prime example of how you know the the acting, singing, and other types of entertaining the the talents exist coexist uh, you know together in one powerful figure. So this song is Chong uh, Yong with Purti. Yeah. Well, the song is amazing, but 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 at the same time, everyone knows that he's a he's not just singer, but he's a wonderful, wonderful actor at the same time. So he's like the most iconic, two, iconic, really, definitely. definitely. Wow. So yeah. this is he shared the the same generation with Cho Young Pil, but uh -huh. Cho Young Pil was more of a you know the the, the you know deep uh, serious you know pop musician and rocker. Yeah. But Chon Young Nook is a is just a pop idol who can do anything, everything. See, for me. If uh, you have Chon Young Nook, and this is, I think, because me and Young Dae, our age difference isn't. <laughs> it, no, it's not that big. It, it's really not. Uh, it, you know, but this is where our difference stands because when I think about the all time most iconic in my generation, okay. right? In my generation, the most iconic two. Uh, two, what, do, what do you call it? Uh, two way star, right? Bing Crosby? No, no. <laughs> Bing Crosby is none of her. I none of her. I'm dreaming of a white Korean. Sometimes I I don't know if I am supposed to be calling him a singer. I don't know if I'm supposed to be calling him an actor. Hmm. Im Chang Jung. Oh, yeah. for me, yeah, good right. Example, good example. Yeah, so Im Chang Jung, for example, uh, the song that I I've always grown up listening to, even though um, at that time I I don't think I was allowed to drink soju, but like soju hanjang was a big song uh, for me. But like he's such a talented singer. I know he won like the Taesang mm -hmm. uh, a couple of times, which is like the major, uh, the biggest, highest award for music at the end of the year. 
Uh, but he's also, like, the way that he acts, it's so good. Like, I absolutely love Im Chang Jung. And this is uh, Love Against Todashi Sarang by Im Chang Jung. You know, the, the amazing thing about him is he's not just multi talented, but he's absolutely fantastic in, in any field. You yeah. know, he's a, he's a top tier actor, mm -hmm. actually. And he's a top tier singer at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, so very exceptional, I think. Yeah, that's why it's like one of those things, like how many people can say you're a top tier singer and top tier actor at the same time, Yeah, right? so, so interesting, interesting part of his career is that for some, he is better known as singer, but for some, well, maybe some, some generation, but um, depending on who you are, but for some, he's known as an actor. Yeah. Yeah, better known as an actor. Yeah. Yeah, but be before Im Chang Jung, we we had a, a s several famous names. I think uh, Son Ji Chan, uh, yeah, yeah, and Kim Min Jong. Kim Min Jong, definitely. I yeah. yeah, I remember him. Yeah, definitely. An Jae Wook. An Jae Wook. Yeah. An Jae Wook was another one. Probably one of the first Hallyu stars ever. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And you know what? We when I um, when I grew up in, in the late '80s, we um, lived the generation of Hong Kong. <laughs> Pop stars, Hong Kong stars, right? Hong Kong stars. <laughs> you know, it's just just hard to describe. You know, they're wonderful movie, you know, the actors and talents and singers. Um, just they were everywhere. You know, um, I I forgot the 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 English name of them. Um, yeah, Chang Gu Kyung, mm -hmm. Yu Do mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. They're they're not martial arts actor, but um, no, they're not. There was like teen idols, teen idols in uh, in in every way. But um, yeah, so there like, were musicians. They hit the number one chart every time. But at the same time, their movies were so iconic and uh, always hailed by the, uh, the the teenager at the time. Yeah, that's 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 see that's the era that I didn't grow up in. But right, I've always right. heard and uh, watched about those certain uh, times where like it was so big that everyone. I mean, there was, like, big craze for Hong Kong movies. Right. Um, and, like, these names that you talk about, uh, was it, uh, I think, uh, uh, Leslie Chang? Was yeah, another? Leslie Chang. Leslie Chang, I think, is the English right. name that comes up. I mean, these were popular names here. <laughs> Yang Gurum. Sometimes, I don't know if Yang Gurum is, like, a fan of the show or just, like, hates me. Uh, <laughs> SJ is 40 years old. Like, am I, am I in the 40s? Do I sound like I'm in my 40s when I talk about some of these... Samship day. I'm in my 30s, uh, late 30s now. Yeah, so the so 80s and early 90s, it was all the Hong Kong stars are everywhere. Then uh, th this whole entertainment business is becoming more of a kind of local phenomenon. Mm -hmm. So we started to have our own local version of that Hong Kong stars. Ah. You know what I mean? You, the, you know that context? Yeah, you, yeah. Now yeah. you understand, right? Yeah. So yeah. Son Ji Chang came along and Kim Min Jo came along and Im Chang Jung later. So it's. Uh, it, it, so you know, the days of Hong Kong stars are gone. Then it was all about Korean stars, you know, Korean domestic stars. And then it became, you know, being globalized. It's, I mean, this is, this is actually a long history. It's not something that's new. It's happened for a really long it, time. You, you know what, back in the days, the 60s and uh, the days of like radio, mm -hmm. not TV, radio, there were um, the, the heyday of voice actors. Yes, yes, because that's yeah. what they used to listen to, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, dramas on radio. You don't need faces. No, I mean, no. You, you only need is, is the wonderful voices. Yeah. Then TV came along. Then uh, it was an interesting period because, I mean, we had TV back then, like uh, early 80s, but still voice actors were dubbing, right, over mm -hmm. the over the... Yeah, okay, yeah. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So voices and uh, the faces are two different persons. Yes, yes. They all sound the same. Yeah, though. all sound the same. And very awkward. <laughs> yeah, I actually... I love I, you. Yes, I love you. <laughs> they, all same. Sounds all, all same. They all sound the same. Yeah. And it doesn't match their lips because you're right. They basically dub over, yeah. use the voice actors. Uh, yeah, you know, I do remember watching that. Even when I was like, uh, when I was young in the the late '80s, I still remember when I was only like a few years old. I remember watching television, and I thought that was like the weirdest thing even back then. But that was the norm. Uh, yeah, even that before. was the norm. Uh, it's it's funny. Then you the that. '80s and '90s. Uh, then we really started to have a substantial 
you know, real multi-talented stars. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah. It, it changes every year because it, it's interesting you mentioned this because maybe I'm going back a little bit uh, off topic here, but uh, one of the, the dramas that I remember watching, I really enjoyed watching back in the days in the 90s was mm. Moreshige, right? With Chae Min-soo. Do, 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 do. Yes. When Lee Jung-jae, he had like no lines. Right. You know, he was the bodyguard. Um <laughs> And I, I said, it was on my uh, VOD in my cable network. And I said, oh my goodness, I'm going to watch Moreshige again. And I, wa- I couldn't last more than uh, 15 minutes of that drama. Well, why is that? It was so tacky. <laughs> <laughs> the acting. I get it. And, like everything was just so tacky. And I said, I, I enjoy this. It's because we're so used to another level of talent right. and acting now. It's awkward, right? It's awkward. It, it's not bad. I mean, yeah. uh, they they... They had their own kind of way of acting there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, speaking of which, uh, something some people, when I mention this name, people don't realize that she actually started out as an actress and not as a singer. Hmm. Lee Jung Hyun. Techno girl? Yes. <laughs> Lee Jung, this, this threw me off, right? Because Lee Jung Hyun obviously known for, yes, this is Wa yeah. or Kum. Um, that, that was just a visual shock. When this song came out is when I really started listening to Korean music. I was in high school and I said, wow. Yeah. But, that, but she was acting genius. That was the thing. So she won, I believe she won the Best New Actress Award too. The, the I think the Gonyip yeah, yeah. title. Yeah. So she probably. started off as an actress. Yeah. But, yeah. And she was actually a very good actress. Mm-hmm. But because this song and her performance on stage was so shocking, yeah. people forgot that right. she was an actress. Everyone forgot, actually. Yeah. And so, like, when she started coming out acting later on in her uh, mm-hmm. career once again, they were like, oh my goodness, she's a good actress. But yeah, nowadays, everyone remembers her as a techno queen, techno yeah. uh, girl. But uh, she was she was amazing, like, acting genius. You know, there's uh, speaking of uh, people that uh, don't know that they had singles, I, I mentioned this name, and all of our writers started laughing at me. Do you remember who Anjemo is? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. I almost from, forgot. Um, uh, Anjemo from Yain Shide, he yeah. uh, played the role of Kim Duan. And wow. uh, one of my favorite singers for him was what, Han Sara. Was he a singer? He, so he had, he had many songs. There was a song, Han Sara Mariwiya, was one of my favorite songs from Anjemo. Oh, I'm so sorry. And so I even when I would go to like Norebang, I would actually sing this because it's one of those songs where it's... Oh, gosh, so good. But you know the funny thing is, right? I watched him. I first saw him on TV as this gangster, Kim Duhan. And he sings like this. <laughs> and I was like, what is going on here? <laughs> so it was so shocking. <laughs> but wow. it's, it's actually a good song. I like uh, this song. Honestly, I, I, I don't remember. You don't, I don't remember, remember him as a singer. Wow. I, I, I remember him singing at the stage on, on certain like o- occasions. Okay, for like but specials. I just totally forgot his album. No, he had a lot of songs. He had wow. uh, those songs like My Destiny. I remember An yeah, well, yeah, Anje was a big name. Right. But Anjemo. Anjemo, yeah, I can't yeah, believe it. I, I think. How about this? How about this for another Whoa. shocker? This this really made some of our writers laugh. So Yujin. <laughs> yeah. Pada Pada Queen. Pada, pada. <laughs> <laughs> yes. People forget. People forget. Oh, the only song that they have uh, of So Yujin singing. From, uh, from a TV drama? Yeah, it's from the drama Yo Wa Som yeah, which, by the way, yeah. I really enjoyed watching too. I was actually a huge fan of So Yujin. Mm-hmm. Uh, before she got married to uh, picture one, of course. <laughs> you know, Pada Pada Queen is not even on our music list. <laughs> Just, oh, there is. A, oh, this is someone else though. So there's Pada Pada Queen by so uh, different complete different artist. artist. Right. Um, but <laughs> So Yujin, uh, people forget she's also had a single that, as the, well. The song was uh, was kind of viral, right? No, at, it was really vi- viral. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, you know what? I totally forgot the context of uh, Para Para Queen and uh, when was it and uh, you know what what the song about. But yeah, yeah, that was we that talk, was pretty big. <laughs> we talk. It is like the archaeology, you know. The, we totally forgot something, yeah. and uh, we kind of digging. 
I, I don't know why, but I just remember those kind of songs. <laughs> uh, but let's go into some of the more renowned, very talented actor slash uh, singer. Uh, I'm sure more people know that this person had uh, sang to Cha Taehyun. Yeah. Right? I mean, you know his songs. Right. Yeah. Uh, he's Chin a... Yanin or I Love You. I Love You. Yeah. This is Cha Taehyun yeah. with I Love You. Most famous song. Right. But you know what was shocking for me was when he came out in Sugar Man with this song. Mm-hmm. And so there was a lot of people in their 20s that didn't know this song and the fact that Cha Taehyun actually had a song yeah. in their 20s, right? So a different generation from me, where I mean, I'm in my 30s. Well, some songs, some music, some artists are, are better survived, you know, for the, ne- for the next generation, especially in the case that a certain, you know, the certain songs are, um, you know, frequently covered by many different artists. Mm-hmm. Or uh, called out. I mean, the, just, just always remembered and uh, you know named as a, as an iconic singer, iconic song. But Cha Taehyun is not one of them. Really, you know, the later days artists like uh, today's singers, they 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 no longer talk about Cha Cha Taehyun as singer. I think that's that's the difference. Because when when the for instance like P right Rain mm-hmm. yeah yeah, well people still talk about him as an actor. Yeah. As a singer, as a Hallyu star. Yeah. But Cha Taehyun, well, Cha Taehyun was amazing. Oh, he, he was big. I mean, in the Yapki Jogin Gunya, and uh, he was in a lot of like a uh, hit TV drama and the right. TV or or Produsa movie. Yeah. was another Cinema. drama that I liked. Yeah, but at, from a certain point, I mean, he disappeared. Yeah. I, no, I mean, they stopped talking about him. I don't think he was just able to keep up with the new talents that were coming Mm. out. And I think P is one of those names that started coming out after Cha Taehyun, right? Like P, he came out, Napun Namja, this is a song, Bad Guy. Uh, And then he came out in Full House, right, with Song Yegyo, I believe. Right. And that was like a big, big uh, drama, just uh, not just in South Korea, but in all of Asia. And so that kind of launched, and he came out in Ninja Assassin, which I thought, I'm sorry, was a terrible movie. Um, but but, I, but he he's a wonderful performer as well. I mean, uh, he, yeah, he's yeah, an amazing he, dancer. Yeah, he definitely in the middle of this whole Hallyu and K-pop phenomenon. He, well, it was so timely. You know, his his TV drama and movies were so popular, especially in Southeast Asia, then in North America. So kind of he successfully extended his career as a superstar. Oh, how about this name? Uh, this is a name I think some people in their 20s, uh, like the high school kids these days and middle school kids these days, they see him a lot on television, but they don't know that he actually debuted as a singer, Lee seung Lee seung yeah. right? Because right. now he comes out like in on dramas and he comes out <laughs> in like these reality shows, like game shows. Yeah. They forget that he changed uh, his one song, Deo Jaranika, gave hope for all guys <laughs> that they could also go out with Nunai's older women. Composed by Sai. Yeah, yes, don't, that's don't right. Don't forget that's that. Right. That's right. Yeah, composed by global star Sai. And the song, especially the lyrics, is so iconic. It's uh, it, I think it's the first time that uh, the, for any song that actually talk about this this age different you know age gap between male and female, and especially the the when uh, male is younger than female. Yeah. And specifically use the term Nuna mm-hmm. in that kind of context. Yeah. You know, not just Nuna, it real Nuna. You know. Uh, I I miss you, Nuna. It's not like that, right? No. Uh, this this song was a it was an incredible song. Uh, it really changed everybody out there. <laughs> Uh, how about here's one one last name uh, I want to throw this name out I think because she deserves it uh, Chang Nara wow Chang yeah. Nara right she, she, she started was off. the Hallyu star before the Hallyu even started yeah <laughs> you know what I mean the, it, it was not a, 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 a kind of Hallyu that we are experiencing right now I but think she got she, so big that she did more work outside of Korea right. than in Korea eventually. Yeah, yeah. She was more active in China and other countries than in Korea. Yeah. She almost, at, at some point, maybe I'm wrong, but uh, she was almost semi retired in Korea. Yeah. She just moved to, um, to, to China, maybe? She, yeah, she, yeah. she was big in China and yeah. she disappeared. Oh, by the way, she's getting married. Yeah. Chang Nara is getting, finally getting married. <laughs> but what Chang Nara I remember is so this song was great. 
Uh, I think she another song was. And she's David so early. Yeah. You know, she she was so young. So right. my debut acting for her that I remember watching. Do you remember the sitcom New Nonstop? What is that? New non. You don't remember the sitcom New Nonstop? A new nonstop. New nonstop. Yeah, yeah. That sitcom. Absolutely. That sitcom produced some of the biggest names. Yeah. Uh, out there, and Chang Nara was in that uh, in that sitcom. Jo In Sung. Um, Yang Dong Gun. Yang Dong. Yeah, Guri Guri Yang Dong. But it, it was different. New nonstop. Uh, it was Yang Dong Gun was in the same episodes okay. as Chang Nara. They actually went out uh, in that uh, sitcom. What what oh. what. what? Which, oh. which season was that? I mean, the, this the, was the uh, Han Yeo was one of them, right? That was the third season. Uh, <laughs> the second season was with Chang Nara, so Yang Dong I remember this because I watched yeah, all of this. Yeah, Han Yeo was also from the third season. Right. Yoon Jong Shin. Yoon Jong Shin was the teacher. teacher. <laughs> <laughs> so that's actually a really good show that really launched the career of a lot of people, yeah. and that including uh, Chang Nara as well. You know well. What, what, what the the when the uh, heyday of of Chang Nara uh, back in the early two thousand. Late nineteen, early two thousand, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, kind of, kind of same time as a uh, the two thousand two World Cup. Yeah, it actually was the, around those that time. times, right? Yeah, it was not really a kind of K-pop global globalization era. No, so the people outside Korea they had to uh, kind of borrow videotapes from local store. Like me, okay, illegal. <laughs> <laughs> like me, take on video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. The illegal copies of the. Uh, Inky Gayo, yes, you know, new nonstop every week, each week. Every that's what week, that's what yeah. I did, and w- w- which which is the reason why, even though despite the fact that I grew up, you know, my childhood was nobody based in would New York. believe that. Yeah, uh, this I, I you know, Yang Gurum says, uh, 오늘 옛날 사람 총출동 총출동 특집이네요. So, I mean, you knew you knew all the songs, so you're probably like around my age, Yang Gurum. I'm I'm thinking it's probably around you're my, one of us. You are one of well, I mean. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes there's that gap between me and uh, me? me and uh, Young Dan. So uh, I, today I really felt it because I I, I wasn't really uh, into that whole Hong Kong stuff. But nevertheless, interesting topic. All of our listeners, thank you very much for getting involved. Young Dan, thank you. As always, stay safe. We'll see you again next week. Thank you so much. You can listen to Korea Now with me, S J Lee, by downloading the Adidang Radio application. Or tune in online by visiting www.adidangradio.com. So make sure you tune in Mondays through Fridays, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Korea time.